Hello, I would first like to thank you for attending this conference. Today's presentation will be about an experimental study of concentration polarization phenomena in forward osmosis process. I will first start by a description of a forward osmosis process, followed by discussion about FO process limitations. Then we will describe the experimental study that was carried out. Finally, we will discuss the main results and findings, and we will end by concluding. This is a schematic representation of a basic forward osmosis process. As you can see, it's a two-step process. The first step consists of water diffusion through semi-permeable membrane from a low concentration stream, which is the feed solution to be treated, to a highly concentration solution, the drop solution, under the effects of the osmotic pressure gradients. The second step is the regeneration process, which consists of the diluted drop solution in concentration to be used into step one and the recovery of product water. Although FO process has many advantages, it still faces many challenges. The most reported process limitations are internal concentration polarization phenomena, external concentration polarization phenomena, and reverse solid flux. Regarding the second step, an energy efficient separation method is required in addition to high quality of product water. In this study, we will focus on limitations of the osmosis step, namely internal concentration polarization phenomena, which is the dilution of drop solution within the membrane support layer, and external concentration polarization phenomena, which is the concentration of feed solution at the interface of the membrane's active layer, and finally the reverse solute flux, which is the back diffusion of the drop solute into the feed solution. The experimental study was carried out using an FO, a commercial FO process test bench provided by Starry Tech Corporation. The test bench consists of two storage tanks for the draw and feed solutions, two circulating pumps, and an FO cell. The system is also equipped with temperature, conductivity, and uh, flow sensors. The feed and draw tanks are equipped with scales for warm flux calculation. The FO membrane used is a commercial cellulose triacetous membrane from fluid technology solutions. Membrane's intrinsic parameters are as displayed on the screen. The draw and feed solutions are respectively as follows. Uh, ammonium bicarbonate of concentration of uh, 1 mol per liter, deionized water and 5000 ppm sodium chloride as feed solutions. Experiments have shown a water flux of 10.5. 4 liters per square meter per hour. As shown on the concentration profile, due to ICP effects, the drop solution concentration has dropped, inducing a reduction of osmotic pressure gradient of 42%. On the feed side, uh, ECP effects induce an increase of 70% of the feed solution concentration. And finally, the overall an overall decrease of 50% of driving force has been observed due to the combined effects of ICP and ECP, inducing a warm flux decline of more than uh, 51%. ECP effects can be effectively mitigated by enhancing turbulence through cross flow velocity, allowing better mixing of the feed solution. However, ICP effects are considered as the main challenge hindering uh, FO process performance and causing important flux decline. ICP is highly dependent on the membrane support layer properties as structurosity, porosity, hydrophilicity, and thickness. It is also influenced by drop solution properties as high viscosity and low diffusivity tend to, ac uh, to accentuate ICP. Experiments have shown a high reverse solid flux of 25.73 grams per square meter per hour, which can induce enhanced falling, higher operation costs, and can be harmful to the environment. To effectively address this issue, highly selective membranes drop solutes with expanded structures are required. Results have shown significant ICP effects and important reverse solid flux. To enhance FO process performances, optimize membrane properties, and drop solutes with high osmotic properties and expand expanded structures are required. 